What's up guys, Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer, ready to begin part one of my Christmas beer series. I have six beers ready to do over the next week. Uh, assorted styles, assorted country, countries of origin, assorted price points. Um, so very excited to, to see how all the beers of this series turn out. And as I've said in the last couple videos, if, uh, if these six beers go well over these three parts, we might just do uh, a couple more. We'll see. But let's go ahead and get started. From a Spetzel Brewery in Shiner, Texas, this is Shiner Holiday Cheer. Um, from the uh, from the bottom, tis the season for cheer. Happy holidays from the little brewery in Shiner, Texas. We hope you enjoy your Shiner Cheer and Old World Dunkelweizen brewed with Texas peaches and roasted pecans. The multi flavors of this dark wheat ale are enhanced through the use of malted barley and wheat, and crossing ensures a smoothness that makes the subtle peach and pecan flavors all the more satisfying. May your days be merry and bright, and your shiner be cold. Prosit. Uh, checks in 5.4% ABV and 22 IBU. Um, arguably, you could say this is probably this might be Shiner's most popular beer uh, besides their core Shiner Bach. Um, that's probably their most common, but uh, this and uh, one or two of their other uh, seasonals are, are tend to be very popular. Uh, this is a nice red copper color. Um, it's a hold up to the light. I get some orange, turn, turns more towards orange. Still copperish, orange highlights. Um, and just a Less than a finger of head. Seems to be dissipating fairly quickly, though there is a good amount of carbonation through this glass. Uh, this, the beer is perfectly crystal clear. Um, the dark, just the general darkness of the beer makes it a little hard to see through a little bit, but again, as I hold it up to the light, I can see my fingers on the other side of the glass uh, pretty well, perfectly. Alright, let's check it out. I could feel the peach hitting my nose even as I was uh, pouring the or bringing the glass up to my mouth. Um, plenty of peach presence, re really nice, really nice peach presence too. It's kind of the, the full peach experience, so it's not just kind of the, the sweet fruit. You get the the um, the skin of the, the, the peach as well. That's this to be a little bit. Not a sour or bitter, just very slightly. But I'm um, plenty of malt, but uh, not super sweet at all overall. I am getting the pecans and maybe just a a little bit of earthiness, but the the peach is really kind of the overlying theme throughout the entire drinking experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would venture to call it not sweet at all. Um, despite the despite the peaches, despite the, the maltiness, it's not really turned into I guess no 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 kind of caramel malts or anything like that. So um uh, no, no sweetness generated not whatsoever, none of the kind of dark sugars or, or, or caramel or toffee or chocolate, nothing, nothing like that at all. Pretty tasty, but to me, I would almost kind of more want this to be a fall beer. I don't really uh, equate, equate peaches with uh, winter. And maybe I'm setting myself up for some uh, for something later when I say I'm you know I'm missing the cinnamon nutmeg allspice that you get in so many of these beers uh, and so many of the the beers later in the calendar year. I would I would almost dare say it's something along the lines of something for summer, despite it being a dunkel. It's uh, 
relatively light. There is a little bit of rich, richness to, to it, but it's relatively light to me anyway. Um, it is kind of lingering in the throat a little bit, but uh, yeah, not not quite, certainly not what you expect out of a, uh, a winter beer or a Christmas beer, but but that is the offering from uh, Shiner Holiday Cheer. Now let's go ahead and check out the next beer. All right, I have my next beer up, and this is Santa's Private Reserve Ale from Rogue Ales in Newport, Oregon. I uh, managed to find this in a 12-ounce bottle. Normally, I see most or all of their stuff in the 22-ounce the bombers, but I can find a, a smaller bottle of this, which was, which was good for me. Um, so notes from the brewery. Rogue's annual holiday offering, Santa's Private Reserve, is a variation of the classic St. Rogue Red, but with double the hops, including hops and barley grown and harvested at Rogue Farms. A double hopped red ale, reddish in color with a roasty multi flavor and a well-balanced spruce finish. A list of ingredients used, including two row Munich, C15, C40, C75, and Rogue Farms Dare and Risk Malts. All those are malts. Hops used were Rogue Farms Newport, Rebel and Freedom Hops, and also used were Free Range Coastal Water and Pac-Man Yeast. This beer is 5% ABV and 65 IBU. Uh, a couple finger figures where the head there you can see. Uh, fairly well see-through and a similar color to the uh, the Dunkel, I, uh, I would think, but uh, maybe a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit closer to red. And I'm getting a pretty solid copper color uh, as I hold it up to the light. A whole lot of carbonation shooting up through the glass as well, and a little bit of particulate matter as well. Though now I see it's kind of attached itself to the uh, to the head. All right, let's drink. Hmm. Plenty of hops coming through initially. Getting that, getting the advertised uh, sprucey finish. Kind of witty overall, to be honest. Now you can see how it kind of evokes the uh, the, the the Christmas tree conjuration of a, of a of a Christmas tree kind of a memory or feeling. A little bit of roastiness, but I'm getting I'm getting a lot of hops. Uh, a lot of woody, piney hops, just uh, all the way through. A little bit of earthiness as well, um, but a uh, very different beer from what I just had, obviously. Um, this is officially listed as a red ale, um, though it's far maltier than your average uh, your average red ale, and they do kind of uh, indicate that in the in the description. Uh, moderate, moderate amount of body. Um, fairly, fairly smooth mouthfeel. The, the the maltiness and kind of the true more the the red ale malty flavoring comes through at the the very very end, even almost I would say almost after the uh, once the spruce note kind of gets out of the way. So the very very end of the drinking experience. Wow, uh, really, really, very, very, very interesting. Very different. That's a that's a neat beer.
The the hop bite's not overpowering. None of the ingredients are really too overpowering. Uh, you just kind of get the snap snaps at you a little bit with the bite, and then uh, kind of all that woodiness comes through, and you get the spruce at the end. As I said, it reminds me of kind of the, the Christmas tree or the Christmas wreath. And, um, yeah. Nice beer. This was, uh, nice beer. This was, again, the uh, Santa's Private Reserve Ale. And that is it for this edition of Poorly, Re Poorly Reviewed Beer. I will have more Christmas beers coming up on Thursday. You can find all of, all of my reviews, video, and written at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. And also, you can find me on uh, the web apps Untapped and Instagram. Excuse me, at Poorly Reviewed Beer. And if you are so inclined, like this YouTube, uh, like this video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.